Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Friday, June 30th. I'm Julie Chang for The Wall Street Journal, filling in for Zoe Thomas. Baseball scouts have a new tool at their disposal, and it uses artificial intelligence. The tool from Uplift Labs, a biomechanics company, is set to generate data that can detect players' flaws, forecast their potential, and even flag their likelihood for injury. Major League Baseball partnered with Uplift and released the AI tool just in time for this year's draft. Lindsay Adler covers baseball for The Wall Street Journal, and she's with me now to tell us more about the tool and its implications for the sport. Lindsay, start us off with some background. Up until AI entered the picture, what kind of technology was being used for baseball scouting? Baseball scouting has really historically been more of an art than a science. It's basically people who watch baseball players all day long. They build this database of examples that they've seen, you know, the way that a 17-year-old hitter looked they can recall how he then later played in the big leagues. And so there are a lot of important things that they look for, both that are measurable and immeasurable, but they also use radar guns to track velocity. They use stopwatches to check foot speed. So it's changed quite a bit with the explosion of data and research and development into how to analyze performance. We're sort of entering the third wave where it goes from anecdotal expert experience to analyzing the actual results. And now we're at a point where people are trying to better predict future results. Okay, so Uplift says it has this new artificial intelligence tool. Can you tell us more about the company and its product? Yes. So over the last decade or so, the whole science of biomechanics has really just flooded into baseball. And What a lot of teams have done is use what's called marker technology, where they bring the player into a lab-like setting. There's a bunch of cameras set up. They have them throw off an artificial mound. What Uplift and other companies are trying to do is make that technology more portable, more accessible. So Uplift specializes in markerless motion capture, and they do it with just two iPhones set up, trained on the person and they can use that information to glean a lot of underlying movement patterns that previously you would have had to put a guy in an unnatural setting to get. So Uplift is really trying to make a lot of this information more accessible and sort of commodify it across baseball. So they can look at things like how much a player rotates when he's swinging. They can look at how far he's extending his arm when he's pitching. Then that data can then be used to compare and contrast it with other historical trends, be on the lookout for things like injury prevention, like if your arm moves in a certain way. For those who tried out Uplift's tool, how good or accurate do they say it is? A number of clubs use Uplift in a variety of ways. And I think people involved understand that when you go from markered technology, really expensive cameras to using iPhones, there are some data things that probably need to be cleaned up. But this is part of MLB now sort of looking at what its teams are actually using already and trying to incorporate that. So they know that most teams use biomechanics data and are interested in having this movement profile technology. So as a result, they've decided that the league itself can partner with this specific company and make that available for amateur players. So MLB itself is not directing where research and development goes, but they are responding to it. And what have people said about the upsides and downsides to using this tool? The upside, well, it depends on who you are. Everything in baseball is about projecting future value and assessing risk. So if you are running a baseball team and you want to invest resources into an amateur player, you want to know if there's XYZ percentage chance that his elbow will blow out within the first four years when he's in professional baseball. And so teams can look for essentially injury red flags, and that can be theoretically to the detriment of the player. It can also be to the benefit of the player because a team could say, well, the natural talent is still so high that we understand this player has a red flag, we're going to bring him in. And then we understand that we need to change something about his movement profile to protect him from blowing out his elbow. On the player side, a similar thing here is a pre-draft physical that involves 
imaging and everything. And most of the top prospects don't do it because they're so good that the revelation of potential injury risk can only hurt them. But for some of the other players who may have gone to, let's say, a smaller high school, a smaller college who may not have maxed out their development by the time they enter the draft combine, something like Uplift could show a team, hey, this guy's strikeout rate is not very good, but the things that he does with his body indicates that we will be able to turn him into a strikeout pitcher. All right. That was our reporter, Lindsay Adler. And that's it for Tech News Briefing this week. We had production assistance from Anthony Bancy. Our supervising producer is Melanie Roy. Our executive producer is Chris Zinsley. And I'm Julie Chang filling in for our host, Zoe Thomas. Thanks for listening and have a great weekend.